Wail, let me hear you wail, ye woodland glades, and thou Dorian water, and weep, ye rivers, for Bion the well-beloved. Now all ye green things mourn, and now ye groves lament him, ye flowers, now in sad clusters breathe yourselves away. Now redden ye roses in your sorrow, and now wax red ye wind flowers. Now thou hyacinth whisper the letters on thee graven, and add a deeper I, I to thy petals. He is dead, the beautiful singer. Begin ye Sicilian muses, begin the dirge. Ye nightingales that lament among the thick leaves of the tree, tell ye to the Sicilian waters of Arethusa the tidings that Bion their herdsman is dead, and that with Bion's song too has died, and perished hath the Dorian minstrelsy. Begin, ye Sicilian muses, begin the dirge. With voice like yours he was wont to sing, and tell again to the Eagrian maidens, tell to all the nymphs Bistonian, how that he hath perished, the Dorian Orpheus. Begin, ye Sicilian muses, begin the dirge. No more to his herds he sings, that beloved herdsman. No more neath the lonely oaks he sits and sings. Nay, but by Pluteus's side he chants a refrain of oblivion. The mountains, too, are voiceless, and the heifers that wander by the bulls lament and refuse their pasture. Begin, ye Sicilian muses, begin the dirge. Thy sudden doom, O Bion, Apollo himself lamented, and the satyrs mourned thee, and the Priapi in sable raiment, and the Panes sorrow for thy song, and the fountain fairies in the wood made moan, and their tears turned to rivers of waters, and Echo in the rocks laments that thou art silent, and no more she mimics thy voice, and in sorrow for thy fall the trees cast down their fruit, and all the flowers have faded. From the ewes hath flowed no fair milk, nor honey from the hives, nay, it hath perished for mere sorrow in the wax, for now hath thy honey perished, and no more it behoves men to gather the honey of the bees. Begin, ye Sicilian muses, begin the dirge. Not so much did the dolphin mourn beside the sea banks, nor ever sang so sweet the nightingale on the cliffs, nor so much lamented the swallow on the long ranges of the hills, nor shrilled so loud the halcyon o'er his sorrows. Begin, ye Sicilian muses, begin the dirge. Nor so much by the gray sea waves did ever the sea bird sing, nor so much in the dells of dawn did the bird of Memnon bewail the son of the morning, fluttering around his tomb as they lamented for Bion dead. Nightingales and all the swallows that once he was wont to delight, that he would teach to speak, they sat over against each other on the boughs and kept moaning, and the birds sang in answer, Wail, ye wretched ones, even ye. Begin, ye Sicilian muses, begin the dirge. Who, ah, who will ever make music on thy pipe, O thrice desired Bion, and who will put his mouth to the reeds of thine instrument? Who is so bold? For still thy lips and still thy breath survive, and echo among the reeds doth still feed upon thy songs. To Pan shall I bear the pipe? Nay, perchance even he would fear to set his mouth to it, lest after thee he should win but the second prize. Begin, ye Sicilian muses, begin the dirge. Yea, and Galatea laments thy song, she whom once thou wouldst delight, as with thee she sat by the sea banks. For not like the Cyclops didst thou sing, him fair Galatea ever fled, but on thee she still looked more kindly than on the salt water. And now hath she forgotten the wave, and sits on the lonely sands, but still she keeps thy kind. Begin, ye Sicilian muses, begin the dirge. 
All the gifts of the muses, herdsmen, have died with thee. The delightful kisses of maidens, the lips of boys, and woeful round thy tomb the loves are weeping. But Cyprus loves thee far more than the kiss wherewith she kissed the dying Adonis. Begin, ye Sicilian muses, begin the dirge. This, O oh, most musical of rivers, is thy second sorrow. This, Melis, thy new woe. Of old didst thou lose Homer, that sweet mouth of Calliope, and men say there thou didst bewail thy goodly son with streams of many tears, and didst fill all the salt sea with the voice of thy lamentation. Now again another son thou weepst, and in a new sorrow art thou wasting away. Begin, ye Sicilian muses, begin the dirge. Both were beloved of the fountains, and one ever drank of the Pegasian fount, but the other would drain a draught of Arethusa. And the one sang the fair daughter of Tyndarus, and the mighty son of Thetis, and Menelaus, Atreus's son, but that other not of wars, not of tears, but of Pan would he sing, and of herdsmen would he chant, and so singing he tended the herds, and pipes he would fashion, and would milk the sweet heifer, and taught lads how to kiss, and love he cherished in his bosom, and woke the passion of Aphrodite. Begin, ye Sicilian muses, begin the dirge. Every famous city laments thee, Bion, and all the towns, Oscra laments thee far more than her Hesiod, and Pindar is less regretted by the forests of Boeotia. Not so much did pleasant Lesbos mourn for Alcaeus, nor did the Tian town so greatly bewail her poet, while for thee more than for Archilochus doth Paros yearn, and not for Sappho, but still for thee doth Mytilene wail her musical lament. I sing thee the dirge of an Ausonian sorrow, I that am no stranger to the pastoral song, but heir of the Doric muse which thou didst teach thy pupils. This was thy gift to me, to others didst thou leave thy wealth, to me thy minstrelsy. Begin, ye Sicilian muses, begin the dirge. Ah, me, when the mallows wither in the garden, and the green parsley, and the curled tendrils of the anise, on a latter day they live again, and spring in another year. But we men, we the great and mighty or wise, when once we have died in hollow earth we sleep, gone down into silence, a right long and endless and unawakening sleep. And thou too, in the earth wilt be lapped in silence, but the nymphs have thought good that the frog should eternally sing. Nay, him I would not envy, for tis no sweet song he singeth. Begin, ye Sicilian muses, begin the dirge. Poison came by into thy mouth, thou didst no poison. To such lips as thine did it come and was not sweetened? What mortal was so cruel that could mix poison for thee? Or who could give thee the venom that heard thy voice? Surely he had no music in his soul. Begin, ye Sicilian muses, begin the dirge. But justice hath overtaken them all. Still for this sorrow I weep and bewail thy ruin. But ah! Uh, if I might have gone down like Orpheus to Tartarus, or as once Odysseus or Alcides of yore, I too would speedily have come to the house of Pluteus, that, thou, that thee perchance I might behold. And if thou singest to Pluteus, that I might hear what is thy song. Nay, sing to the maiden some strain of Sicily, sing some sweet pastoral lay. And she too is Sicilian, and on the shores by Etna she was wont to play, and she knew the Dorian strain. Not unrewarded will the singing be, and as once to Orpheus's sweet minstrelsy she gave Eurydice to return with him, 
Even so will she send thee too, Bion, to the hills. But even if I, even I, and my piping had aught availed, before Pluteus I too would have sung.